Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here. Got a quick video today. I'm showing you how to create a video pop-up uh, from YouTube on your website. So the idea is if you're creating a WordPress post or some kind of page and you want to have a YouTube video on that page but not embedded, so you simply click a link and it pops up on the screen. Uh, this is basically how you're going to do it. Now I have done a video like this in the past, but since the Gutenberg WordPress 5.0 update, the editor has actually changed a little bit. So I wanted to give you an updated version on how to do this. Now you see I've got down, down here a plugin installed called Video Pop-Up. Now what you want to do, if you want to add this plugin, just go to Plugins and Add New and search for Video Pop-Up. And if you don't get it straight away, you might have to scroll a little bit, but we're looking for the video pop up by Allo Baby. So if you're actually not sure, we can type in Allo Baby, which is, I'll put, pop that up on the screen in a sec. That's how you spell Allo Baby. And that will actually sort of refine those details down, uh, those results down to that one plugin. So you actually just want to install that plugin, activate it, and then you're good to go. So. It's really quite simple. Uh, now, it actually uses a short code, this plugin. So if you go down here, if you want to go the route of the short code, you can simply copy and paste the short code. But I want to show you a, a, what I consider to be a much simpler way than trying to figure out the short code. And if you want to, all the options are here. You can go through, copy the short code and add in. You can even copy this one and add in the various options that you want. But um, we're just going to have a simple click that allows you to click on the button, have it open up and auto play. So I'm going to go up the top to New Post. I'm just going to go up to my tabs for a second. And this is a video I've created. I'm going to simply copy, except copy in the address bar. I'm going to copy that um, URL, that YouTube video URL, and come back to my post. So I'm going to put here video pop up post. And then use the default editor. And what we're going to do is I'm going to type a basic sentence. So this is, we're not going to get too involved in this. So this is a video you should check out click here. So this is basically how I'm going to add it in text. I'm going to highlight the click here, add a link, and then paste this text, paste this URL in and click apply. Now, what I'm going to do to make it make this work is I'm actually going to right click on this and go edit as HTML. So now I get the, the link code here. Now all we want to do is add in class equals we've got inverted commas so quotation marks I should say VP dash a quotation marks and now I click back up here to edit visually and we're good to go so now if I preview I'll save this draft if I preview this you can see we have a link here if I click on this the video pops up and plays. It's that simple. So that is basically how to get it in a link, which is really quite easy. It's even easier with an image, and I believe it's probably more effective if you can get an image, especially if you get an image with a little play button on it or something like that. You can actually do a, a more visual job of this. So if I head back over, and just uh, so you know, uh, before we go any further, I'll go back to edit HTML. That class, that section there, you, you can add that in just after the address or so space, I'll put this up, this uh, little snippet of code up on the screen for you. So that's the bit that you want to put in just inside the, uh, you know, the brackets of your link. But it's actually even easier, if I edit visually again, to do it with an image. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to click here, enter, I'm going to insert an image and choose one from the library, which I've got a few uh, funny images here. This is just like a generic image I found on the internet. So now I've got my image here. What I want to do is the same thing. I'm going to go down to link settings, click custom URL and paste. If I scroll a bit further down, oops, click on the image, the link URL, I'm going to paste that YouTube URL again. So that's a YouTube URL, the video I want. And then all I have to do is down here where it says link CSS class, type in VP-A. And then I'll just save the draft again. Preview. And now we have, a, have an image. If I click on this image, 
we get our video. So that's it. So basically, using that VP-A under link class, we can um, we can create an image that's clickable. So it's pretty straightforward. As you can see here, just the URL and the image, and then VP-A, just as long as this video pop-up plugin by Allo Beatty is installed. So that's basically a very simple way to create a video pop-up. It's um, you don't really need to know any expertise. Um, the image is the easier way to go. If you want to do text, you do have to go in and edit the actual um, HTML itself, the link, um, because unfortunately there doesn't seem to be any uh, option yet to add a link class within within the actual editor, but that's okay. Otherwise, you can have a look at the short code, but I personally just prefer to add a link class. It's simpler and quicker, and you can do that. Yeah, pretty pretty much instantly. So, I hope you found that video useful. If you would like to check out the other, check out my other video, if you're still using the WordPress Classic Editor, I'll show you how to do this using that Classic Editor. And this one is using Gutenberg. So, I've got a link to that in the description below. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. And also, any of the links, the class code, any of the code you're looking for, is also in the description below. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.